When current sophomores enter their senior year in the fall of 2022, a whole new section of campus will exist. Tonight, our Emory Eisner reports on the construction delays on Elon's new innovation quad. The first classes in the new Innovation Quad buildings are now two and a half semesters away, a six-month delay. University architect Brad Moore says construction projects were slowed last spring to brace for the financial impacts of the pandemic. Director of the engineering program Serena Hargrove-Leak says the delay in construction and in developing the engineering program has made room for more thoughtful work. I have been comfortable being patient. Um, and I just had the faith all along that it would come together exactly as it was supposed to, exactly when it was supposed to. The new area of campus will be home to the university's four-year engineering program and physics department. It includes two new buildings and two outdoor quad areas. Chair of the physics department Martin Kamela says giving more room to each STEM department on campus will allow for more connections and creativity across campus. That is, I think, the coolest thing is that by providing sufficient resources uh, and opportunities for STEM departments to expand, we don't know where we're going to go, but I know it's going to be interesting and it's going to be great and there are going to be things that happen that we don't anticipate. Even for engineering junior Henry Chance, who will graduate before the new buildings are finished, he's excited for future students to use resources seen at high-level Research One universities. I think that the building's new equipment will really um, make research be able to happen quicker and more impactful. Moore says he is most excited to see the two-story commons area in Founders Hall come to life. He says the space is designed to let people outside the program see projects underway inside and hopes it will be popular for students across majors. Emery Eisner, Elon Local News. As of today, the construction team has fully removed the asphalt from the McMichael parking lot to make way for the building's foundations.